Alright, into the throne room we go. Except it's probably not the king out. Oh. Um, dee -dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment, I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I... Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? Well, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming, perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. No save points! Can I call people? How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Like I said before in the first run through, visits to dentists are pretty god awful. Are you ready? If you're not, I understand. I am not ready either. Save point! This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I see. This is it then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination! Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh. What the fuck was that? What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your own journey alone. But I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take a life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is it not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, Deemer. Dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six skulls from humans, then come back and freed everyone eventually. Peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Yeah, Asgore human! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll- I'll- Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey, nobody hurt each other! Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel, hello. Ah, uh, hi! There's two of them? 
Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights, I'll be forced to ask Gunning for help. Hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst, human. Did Asker shave and clone himself? Hey, guys. What's up? That voice. Hello. I think we may know each other. Oh, hey, I recognize your voice, too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name stands. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then... That must be your brother, Papyrus. Greeting, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wow, we. I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. What is a skeleton tile with his roof? Um, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, come on, Asgore. It's going to be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. Undine's totally right about that fish thing. S sometimes you just got to stop going after furry boss monsters and uh, just get to know a really cute fish. That's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god, could you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action! Hey, shut up. Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No, he's right. Let's do it. I, I, I guess if you want to, the little honey thing back? Wait! Not in front of the human. Oh, right, sorry, I got carried a little away. Like, a little carried away there. My child, it seems as if you must stay here a while. But looking at all the great friends that you have, I think, I think you will be happy here. Hey, that reminds me, Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know to call everybody? Let's just say a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? Holy fuck, Charles. You idiots. While you guys are having your little powwow, I took the human souls, and now not only are those souls under my power, but all your friends' souls are going to be mine too. He he he! And you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will reach my final form. He he! Huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the, the if you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach, and then tear it away before you can grasp it. Over and over and over. Hee hee hee. Listen. If you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied, but that won't happen. You! No, I'll keep you here no matter what. Even if it means killing you one million times. Ouch. 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 Souls, help. What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, I like how Sans is still smiling. We will always be there to protect you. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. If you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry. We're here with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But somehow, I know you can do it. Human, for the future of human and monsters, you have to, you have to stay determined. We're here with you too, come on, you got this. La, la, la. You gotta win, you can do it, Ribbit. Aww. No! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You. You! 
I can't believe you are so stupid. All of your souls are mine. Scary. Who that? I'm a little brother. Hello? Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. Oh, that's the, yeah, that's the sun thing. Howdy, Edmo. Are you there? It's me, your best friend. Asriel Dreamer. It's the end. Infinite attack, infinite defense, legendary being made of every soul in the underground. Oh. Oh, this is not gonna be fun. It's the end. Dog salad! Whoa, the true final battle was just beginning. Whoa. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory getting smaller and smaller. Oh god, oh god, so much stuff. Yeah, I can't concentrate on this enough! Ooh. Azrael charges shocker beaker. Through determination, the dream became true. You ex- <laughs> You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. You just want to destroy me? Ouch! Oh, uh, more food please. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline. I just want to reset everything. To what? Ow. Was not expecting of that. Holy crap. But it refused. Oh, okay. I guess it forces me to start over. Think about why you're here now. You can feel the, the space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. And the stars. All the stars. This is really distracting. Charge a shocker here. You held on to your hopes. Reduce how much damage you'll take this turn. That's good to know. Still a lot of damage taken. HP was maxed out. To all your progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. Is this a shocker thing? Woo! Did pretty good. Star blazing. Your items filled up with dreams. Then we can do everything all over again. Damage is reduced, you know the best part of all of this? You'll do it! Do what? Oh! Balls! Hmm, good thing I kept on moving. And then you'll lose me again! Again and again.
and again. Galactica blazing. I hope do some damage because you want a happy ending. Oh, this ain't this ain't the same. Oh, okay. Ezra calls on Chaos Slicer. Uh, gonna heal myself. The dreams came true because you love your friends. Because you never give up. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this far, it's gonna be your downfall. Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. What? Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. Well, I'm not ready yet! Let me heal! Let me heal! Am I being forced to start all over? <sighs> Blocks the way! But I can only act? You can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power! Oh man, what? The fuck? That's some bullshit. Okay. Okay, cool. Can't move your body. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. Our world is ending. Can't move your body. Still, you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. After that attitude, that attitude will serve you you well in your next life. 